Hi, sorry, call me napping. Um, Philippians chapter 2 and uh, verse 23. I'm going to repeat again. I, I read this yesterday, but I didn't really talk about it very much. Talking about Timothy, Paul is saying, I hope therefore to send him as soon as I see how things go with me. And verse 24, I am confident in the Lord that I myself will come again. So remember, Paul is imprisoned. Paul is under guard. Paul is unable to um, to travel as he so uh, much wants to. Because of that, he is able to send a friend. He's able to send Timothy to go and uh, on, a, on a recce, if you like, of the, the church community as an encouragement to them, but also as an encouragement to Paul to come back and report back to Paul uh, how he finds the people, how he finds their um, uh, their, their encouragement for, for caring and sharing uh, the gospel. Um, but he'd love to come himself. He, he recognises, as the Philippians will recognise, that this is kind of second best. It's lovely to see Timothy. We're always happy to welcome him. It's a joy to welcome any friend of yours. It's a friend of ours. They're welcome in our homes and in our community. But we'd love to see you, Paul. Now, of course, the Philippians will understand why Paul can't come. But Paul has this confidence, this, this hope, uh, this expectation that God still has a, has a role for him to visit Philippi once more. Uh, and, and so he's expressing that confidence uh, in being able to come soon, whatever soon might mean. And uh, again, there's there's a lovely um, kind of reminder there, perhaps for us, that when we're in touch with people, when we're texting or emailing or, or writing good old fashioned letters, to be able to say, I hope to be able to come and see you again face to face soon is, is a great encouragement and a great blessing too, as long as we mean it, of course. Um, but we can, there's great value in those words and there's great value in the kind of hope that there is expressed in that. Um, but Paul has great confidence. He has confidence that God will uh, deliver him, rescue him from the predicament that he's in at the moment. And he feels in his spirit that uh, the promise of God that he'll be able to do this. So a couple of things for us to, to reflect upon or think about. First of all, do we when we give our word, do we mean it? I hope to be with you can be interpreted in all sorts of ways. It could be a, a way of sort of, yeah, I, I, I'll pop in sometime, which is absolutely meaningless. But I genuinely hope to be with you soon. And I'm making every effort to, to be there is very different, isn't it? And of course, the proof of the pudding comes in the, the activity that follows. Now, of course, our, our fervent hope to go and see somebody may be dashed by circumstances that are well and truly outside our control. But if we're making that, if we're giving that word, we're, we're effectively, let our yes be yes. And let's make every effort uh, to do that. And as we plan that, as we hope for that, what are we hoping to be able to do? Again, it's to share encouragement. It's to share blessing. It's to pray for one another, alongside one another, for the uh, sake of the gospel. Now, I've been thinking about this uh, or leading our thoughts about this over the, the last few days based on a kind of journey being made, the kind of journey that, that Timothy and maybe Paul would have to make to Philippi. But the same applies to much more local journeys as well. How often do we make a, a determined effort to catch up properly with our neighbours, our friends? And uh, maybe sometimes it's a bit too uh, easy to, to, to not bother with people that we bump into a lot. But there's something very different from that casual, uh, hi, how are you, after coffee, uh, during coffee after church. Very different from, let's get together. Let's, let's spend some time really getting to know each other. Let's have fun together, but let's all also do business with God together. Let's sit down for an hour or six and really get to get to grips with with how we share the gospel there's an idea uh we're running out of time take it uh leave it let me pray lord god help us help us to know how to prioritize our time and who to prioritize our attention with 
and be glorified in our conversations, Lord. Amen. God bless.